DJ Viana, and most definitely you are watching the Praise Mix uh, each and every Sunday. Thank you so much for uh, keeping it West TV and uh, keeping it the Praise Mix each and every Sunday. We thank God because uh, umekuwa pale na sisi. As we celebrate uh, the end of the first season of the Praise Mix, na kushukuru tu sana that you've been able to tune in each and every day. Ataka moja tu maesemes uh, ama moja fanya chechote pali nye kwenye social media tujue uko uh, unatazama. Sisi najua unatazama na tazamani asante sana on behalf of the Praise Mix na kushukuru sana that you can be able to tune in, you can be able to uh, kupata share yako hapo because each and every Sunday uh, munga mekwandalia mambo uh, tofauti tofauti ambayo angependa sana ikufikia au siyo and sisi tukwa hapo hivi kufanya kazi yake and we thank God each and every time au siyo, welcome on the war room section, uh, the other last Sunday tulikuwa hapo hivi and it was super super amazing that uh, you'll pata kubarikiwa and thank you so much that uh, you can be able to impress uh, this segment because Kwa kweli na bariki watu kule nje. Uh, today uh, we have a different uh, episode of Warum and uh, yule ambayo ni join hapo hivi is one of the amazing pastor all the way from uh, atakuwa anatuambia anatoka wapi but mimi namjua kama pastor Catherine Barasa. Wow, pastor Catherine. Karibu. Wow. Good to see you. Yeah. Tumekuwa tunaongea tu kwa simu hapa na pale. <laughs> But leo sasa ya nimepata kukuona vizuri sana. Nice. And uh, tunafraia that uh, mm. umeza kutenga muda. So that kwa kujia kwa praise mix na jua pale kanisani. Mm. Shuguli hapa na pale. Yeah. Wow. So uh, na juma anda, umetuandalia mambo ambaye kidogo. Uh, ungependa kushia na mtazamaji pale nyumbani. Mm. Uh, so wacha ni kupate tu muda. And then utuelekeze. Mm. Wow, karibu. Ok, na shukuru mm -hmm. mungwa. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mina itua Pastor Catherine Barasa. Mm -hmm. Nimeukoka na shiriki na uduma ya Holy Gate of Heaven. Na nashukuru mungu nimeukoka subu hii. Nina amani ya Kristo. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, maybe unaza tuwelekeza tu katika message ya leo. Amba umetuandalia. And then takona, takona rudiba kupitia ujumbe amba watu umetumapale nje. Mm -hmm. uh, and then takutakua tukiendelea. Asandi sana. Mm -hmm. Uh, na shukuru mungu kwa siku hii kwamba mungu ametusaidia tukawana siku hii Mana kila siku ni ya mungu na kila siku ni ya baraka Kwa hivyo katika siku ya leo nataka tuongelee tu about thanksgiving kushukuru mungu Mana hakuna kitu uh, kila kitu ina sababu yake na nashukuru mungu kwamba maisha yetu ni matokeo ya shukurani mungu alitupenda Kwa hivyo nataka tu taangalia kwamba uh, Dawdi akasema kwamba this is the day that the Lord has met gonna rejoice and be glad in it. So as you enter in a new day, let's move kwamba, let's move with the thanksgiving. Mana mungu wetu ni mungu anapenda tumushukuru. Mana kama baba tu, akama amegubariki, amekufanya mambo makubwa. Kuna vitu unexpected wea ataka mtoto umushukuru. Jamba la kwanza, ambalo unesa kushukuru mungu kabisa nalo, ni kwamba unapumua, ni kwamba wea uko hai kwamba una nguvu unaweza tembea. Kwa hivyo ukitambua kwamba ni Mungu anayefanya uko na nguvu ya kutembea, unashukurani ya kwambia Mungu ni asandi. Maana vile tunaongea hivi kuna wengi wako hospitalini, kuna wengi awamuki, kuna wengi wanatamani hata kusimama tu. Lakini imekuwa ni kama wawezi. Nawe mwenye una uzima na unapumua Unasa kumpatia mungu shukurani kwa jili tu ya afya, kwa jili tu ya famili yako, kwa jili ya watoto wako, mana amekutendea mazuri na umeona siku kama hii. Dota wute kasima kwamba, this is the day that the Lord has made. Kwa hivyo, unasa kusema kwamba, kushukuru mungu, thanksgiving shows, is, thanksgiving is a heart of gratitude. It shows how much you are thankful for God for what he has done for you. Thanksgiving naonesha kwamba it is a heart of gratitude. Mana we are in a generation, sometimes people don't thank God for what he has done. Like this station now, we are two years tangu to answer. We have to give God thanks. Haija kwa raisi. Mana God has fought, has fought every challenge. Mana hakuna kitu hakuna anga changamoto. Everything has a challenge. But katika haya yote, God give us victory. Mungu utupa ushindi. Na mungu anapo tupatia ushindi. 
Ana expect sisi turudi kumshukuru kwambie Bwana kama si mkono wako kama si Mungu atunge kwa chinzi tulivyo. Kwa hivyo tunashukrani ya kushukuru Mungu kama station ya West TV. Maana Mungu ametufanyia mambo mazuri, ametupekania vita, ametukomboa, ameturescue from many things. Maana I know there are challenges in life. Maana life is about challenges, but in all challenges Mungu fanya njia ya kutokezele. Kwa hivyo God is faithful ambaye hata tuweza kutuacha kushindwa ama kutuachilia kwa mikono ya adui. Lazima tuje kwamba it is because of the mercies of God that these mercies are new every day. Bible says that it is because of the mercies of God that we are not destroyed. If it is not the mercies of God, hatunge kwa hapa wapendwa. The mercies of God are new every morning. The mercies of God are new every day. Now in every challenge, the mercies of God are new every day. In every challenge you may feel that oh, ime malisika, but you must know that it is the mercies that carries us. Because kama si huruma za Mungu, hatungeshinda tumepitia mambo mengi kama taifa, tumepitia mambo mengi kama jamii, tumepitia mambo mengi kama hata a uh, station, but it is because of the mercies of God that has kept us. It is the hand of God. We have just to thank God because of his good hand. It is God who makes a way where there seems to be no way. It is God who carries us through when we feel that we cannot make, when we are weak. God comes to strengthen us when we are not able to continue in this journey. God comes and strengthen us. We, we may be fainting in life. Man, people faint in life. They faint in families. They faint in marriages. Even right now, people are fainting because of, of, of economic things are tough. But in the midst of these challenges, only the victory that we can have is to thank God. So when we thank God, we are provoking God to bless us. Thanks. Giving is a language that causes God to increase his blessing upon our life. And then like the ten labors, when one realizes kwamba Mungu ameniponya, Mungu amenitoa kwa ukoma, arirudi akapatia Mungu shukrani. Na Mungu akauliza, "Why are we nine? We are not we are not what a jail. Awaku kuwa cleansed." Na only one alikuja kupatia Mungu shukrani kwa maana alijua kwamba he was made whole. Na Mungu akauliza kwamba because she he arirudi with thanksgiving mungu akamwambia go and be made whole now thanksgiving makes us to be made whole it makes your business to be made whole it makes your family to become whole so thanksgiving when god has healed you when god has done something for you the best thing what sustains that blessing is when you thank god you acknowledge the source of your blessing you acknowledge the source of your victory you acknowledge the source source of your strength and when you acknowledge you come with thanksgiving like this the lepers he came rejoicing and he fall down that means he worship god he bow before god and he glorify god because what he was made whole so we must come to return you must return wakati mungu anakubariki return to give him thanks wakati mungu anakuinua return and give him thanks wakati mungu amekupa kama station god has made us to do something in this station two years we must learn or return to give god thanks and some st sometimes thanksgiving in guinea in a involve sacrifice you can give god something telling god surely god i thank you because you have kept me like i've been ministering in this station i've been serving people of god today two years god i have a reason to thank you now i want to say this as this station because we can do all things through christ that strengthen us as you as a station we must know that at wesi bila mungu at wesi bila mane ye di ututiae nguvu man the bible says sometimes you feel like fainting even in coming when you kikuta job when i feel kwamba ah today like i'm tired i don't feel like serving i don't like i don't and it's a skit and nukufanya kazi but god come and strengthen you god strengthens you in the weak point that you think that nimeisha you think that it's wesi so nata kuangelea mtu ambaya kopalo na nitasama. Pengine wasikia umechoka. 
Nataka kuambia kwamba you can do all things through Christ who strengthen you. Pengine umechoka katika ndoa, you can make it through Christ who strengthen you. Pengine umechoka katika your marriage, pengine umechoka katika your family, pengine umechoka katika afya, you feel like I have come to my end. But nataka nikwambie kwamba you kwamba Christ can strengthen you. This morning believe kwamba Mungu anaweza kufanya nini? Kukuinua tena. Upenye umefika, don't give up. Begin thanking God. Bible says ya kwamba give thanks to God, give thanks in all things because this is the will of God concerns us. In all things, we must give God thanks, not only in good things, not only in bad things. In giving thanks is just a life style of a believer. Or even in that situation when you feel you are uka kaka uchungu, wes kuamuka, wes kuinua kichwa, wes kuinua mkono, just in that state begin just thanking God. Thank God in all situation. When you thank God in all situation, you provoke God's grace. You provoke God's hand to begin moving upon your life. So I believe that katika thanksgiving, God will help us to stand again. Now, thanking God for a new season. I have to prophesy over the station that this is our season as a station. We shall it's a time, it's a new season. It's a new day. It's a new day for us to break forth. Things that have been limiting this station now because we have entered into a new season we are breaking forth in the land of enlargement now i want to speak enlargement over this station this morning as i begin praying i want to pray fresh grace of god upon this station where if kenya has never heard about west tv this is your season to be heard because we have come to thank god kwamba mungu surely you have been faithful on our side now daudi akasema kwamba if god was not on my side let me now say if God has not been on our side as a station now let us say because it's not our power or our mighty but it's by the grace of God that we have can stand and serve God that people have heard our voices people have we have ministered we have served people now this is the time that God is taking us to another another level now we must begin at uh, expecting more kutarajia mengi kwamba Mungu anatuingiza katika another level now in Jesus name i want to declare favor upon this station may this station be favored in jesus name as people listen as people hear the word of god as people are hear the preaching of gospel in this station may this station be favored by god i know there are many stations but right now because we have come to give god thanks for what he has been doing in this station bible says to not despise the beginning of small things there yes, we may have begun small but we are believing god kwamba we are going bigger or we are enlarging in Jesus name now i degree enlargement in this uh, in this station may west tv be enlarged let kenya know that there is west tv because it's a station that god is the source of the station god is the strength of the station it, it is the station that knows they are acknowledge the lordship of jesus now i degree enlargement now i degree fresh grace yeah, every activity you are doing may the hand of god rest upon you everything that you've been doing may god double it may you be doubled by your ministries or may you be doubled by finances may you be doubled by the favor of god in this land now may bungoma open up doors for west dv i prophesy every door every door every gates of bungoma may it uh, uh, may it hear the west dv now i degree greatness upon this station may this station become great and enlarged in jesus name now i degree an open heaven as you serve in this bungoma in Kenya, let this station uh, have an open heaven. May you serve under an open heaven. No more struggles. Even you've been struggling because of thanksgiving, let thanksgiving break every struggles. Everything that's been making you mark time in this station, may by thanking God, let every limitation be broken. By thanking God, let every obstacle be broken. By thanking God, even financial hardship, let it be broken in Jesus' name. By thanking God, may you experience progress vision by thanking god may you experience breakthrough i degree breakthrough over this station no more struggles let everything that's covered any covering may have covered this station that people may have not heard about west tv let be removed in jesus name now i degree the blood of jesus to remove every covering cloud, demonic cloud that covers 
business that cannot flourish in Bungoma. Anything that covers this station, that the voice of this station can never be heard. I decree the blood of Jesus to remove every demonic covering in Jesus' name. Now, may you experience customers coming, even lodging here, their music, uh, lodging here, there are many activities. I decree many activities in this station in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I open doors that may come me funguka in my fungo katakin station. I open doors of breakthroughs. I open doors south, north, east, west. May doors are open in Jesus' name. Now I decree the favor of God. May this station be satisfied with the favor of God. I should serve God. May you be satisfied with the favor of God. May you become fat in this station. May you enlarge in this land of Bungoma. May you God surprise you. I decree the God of surprise to surprise you as a station in Jesus' name. Now, my view, my view, you are a couple. The Samaja Masikilisa, you are a couple. Not a Kutangasia as we are now. Now, Kutangasia Kwamba, Villa to station in Asa Manso Mumpia. Watch a Machiakope Kapata Manso Mumpia. Watch and Oyakope Kansa Manso Mumpia. Villa station in a fry and a Kushangilia are sick for two years and twenty seven days. Penya Wupo as we are now. Not Angasia family. Yako, I answer mwanzo mupia. Natamuka mwanzo mupia katika jami yako, katika kasi yako, katika watoto wako. Vile vitu vime kwama, habi songi tena. Vile vitu vile kata kufanyika. Kwa sababu ni mwanzo mupia na unasikia sauti yangu. Kile vya mbasa vile suia, usi experience mwanzo mupia. Sinawondolea kwa sababu tumekuja kushukuru mungu. Tumerudi kwambia mungu asande kwa kile tumefanyiwa kama station. Now the Tangaso Manzo Mupia Koyo Do. How Tangana Tena. Na Tangaso Mkona Mungu Ukushukia. How the packages will leave you. Come on mekataliwa kubalika sasa. Come on gonjo pona sasa. Come on wesi hamka sasa. Come on meshindwa pata fryer mungu. That akasma kwamba. Kwamba the joy of the Lord is my strength. As we are low, I degree the joy of the Lord upon your life. Maybe you have lost the joy of the Lord in your life, in your family. You feel like kwamba in joy me fika musho. So we squendelet. Katika imaisha, uduma ime kushinda Penu na kwa mai uduma ime kwa ngumu So as kusukumana na uduma You feel like quitting what you want to do Nime kwa mbia kwa mba don't quit uh, Quit us never win So mama pale na mtangase To begin thanking God When you thank God, God will come down And bless you, thanksgiving It is what sustains the blessing Thanksgiving is like what Causes the oil to flow In your ministry, go back and begin Thanking God, katika udoko Maybe you have two people in your church. Maybe you have ten people in your church. Don't quit from that ministry. Don't leave the people of God. Begin thanking God. When you thank God, God will open doors. God will cause people to come in Jesus' name. Kwa hivyo ashubu ya leo, nenenea mtu ambaye mekata tama, shukuru mungu. Nenenea mtu ambaye mechoka kimaisha, shukuru mungu. Nenenea vitu vilio kwa ma dry bones. I speak prophesy. Begin thanking God in that hopeless situation. Where there is no hope, God will bring hope when you begin thanking him. Where there is no peace, God will bring peace when you begin thanking him. Therefore, this morning, I want to pray for you, my viewers. 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 I want to pray for God is my source. God is my strength. Understand, church, our strength doesn't depend on men or what we eat. Our strength our strength depends on God. God is our strength. In times of need, in times of trouble, it's a very present help in times of trouble. So believe God Pamba, Buana Jo Musada. This morning I prophesy Mungu Akutumia Musada. Mungu Akutumia Musada because it's a present help in times of need, in times of trouble, in times of discouragement. Don't be discouraged. Rise up and begin thanking God. May you be encouraged. Don't give up this this morning, I came with the word of hope. Na kunenea tumaini. Kwa hiyo maisha. Na kunenea tumaini. Kwa hiyo afya. Na kunenea tumaini. Katika ndoe yako katika jina la Yesu. Kwa hivyo nataka niombe kwa jina la Yesu. Bible say, let it say kwamba, let the weak say that I am strong. When you are weak, confess that you are strong in Jesus' name. When you are sick, confess that I am healed by the stripe of Jesus in the name of the Lord. When you feel that you have, your life is 
nothing is working in your life. Nothing good is coming out from your life. Begin thanking God. Begin thanking God in that suffering, in that difficult. Begin thanking God. Now I can pray. Oh, wow. <laughs> Before even you dive into the word of prayer. <laughs> wow. That fire. Wow. <laughs> Sa, okay, naona Doris uh, Kituya anasema nashukuru Mungu kwa kibali uh, cha uzima amenipa uh, niko na pumzi leo. Amen. And then kuna Jora hapa hivi anasema yuko locked. Anasema watching all away from Malaba uh, Jumapili njema. Uh, nashukuru Mungu. And then kuna Abram anasema poa sana hadi tamati. And then kuna Shalo uh, Mkalama anasema ana watch show from Teresia Cabras. I'll see. So uh acha ni allow pastor Catherine <laughs> aingie kwa muombi kidogo and then tutakuwa na kuja back uh, tujua anatoka wapi na anaenda wapi si ndio so pastor Catherine back to you amen yeah. prayer yeah prayer now in Jesus name uh, i want to pray this morning believe uko pale nataka nikuombe nataka niombe kwa jina la Yesu father god in Jesus name I want to thank you because of this day that you have made. I want to give you praise in Jesus' name. Father, I stand this morning in the station, Father, with your fear and reverence and declaring that God, you are good. You've been faithful. And now, Father, I pray kokela mtasamaji ana isikilisa sauti asubuhi ya leo. Pengine Bwana wamefika mali owesi. Natamka kwamba Bwana kwa ushindi wako, the more the more than conquer through Christ who strengthen them. Ninyo wa Ninaombea baraka sa mungu asubuwa leo. Ninaombea njia silizo kataa asubuwa leo. Ninatangasa baraka sa mungu katika maisha yao. Natangasa kwa mabuwana. Hawata paki benye wapo. Hawata kwa mapale. Natangasa kwa muka katika jina la Yesu. I degree the favor of God upon you this morning. I degree the healing of God upon you this morning. I degree breakthroughs of God upon you this morning. You are sick. I degree I speak the word of God. Bible says that he sent his word. And his word healed them. This morning, I sent the word of God over that body, over that painful body, over those bones that are broken, over that discouraged issue. This morning, I sent the word of God over your situation in the name of Jesus Christ. In that challenge, in that situation, believe God. I degree the word of God that God raises the dead thing. Let God revive your life. Let God raise those dead things. It can be your marriage that is dead. Let God raise that marriage. It can be your business, your block, and you're at home sitting wondering what to do. Right now I came with the word of hope. Go back to your business and the Lord will surprise you. And the Lord will give you finances in the name of the Lord. I pray this morning. When the word of summer, may God surprise you this day. May God meet with all your needs. May God meet with your family's needs. May God heal your family. May God heal your marriage. May God heal your children. May God heal everything that you touch the work of your hand. I degree this morning let it be healed in Jesus name now where there is no way I speak to my father my God and open up those doors he make it away where there is no way may God make a way for you this morning you will not be stranded you will not be stuck in life I command doors to open in the name of Jesus I command breakthroughs over your life in the name of Lord thank you because of this station I degree the favor of God over this station I degree West TV that you are Bless it. the land of Bungoma shall open up for you. The land of Bungoma shall accept you. And West TV, I speak to you this morning that every part of you, every activity you do in this station, may God respond. May God give you favor. You will not struggle again. As a station, limitation is broken. As a station, every power of the darkness will have been opposing this move of God in this station. It is brought down in the name of Jesus. Now I speak to Bungoma. Bungoma be healed. I speak to Bungoma. Yes, the church in Bungoma. Yes, our county is Bungoma. I degree the peace of God right now in the name of Jesus. Hey, Bungoma, you are here. I degree the purpose of God. I degree the will of God. Let the will of God be done in the name of Jesus. Christ. No one can frustrate the will of God over the land of Bungoma. Bungoma, open up for the gospel. Open up for Jesus. Every guest of Bungoma, open up the, for the gospel. Hey, in the name of Jesus. No opposing the word of God. The church is moving forth in Bungoma. I degree the peace.
is in churches, unity in churches, unity in the families, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you because Lord, as we have song election, we silence any voice of fear in our county, in our nation. We silence every voice of the devil. No devil will win the battle. We declare that Kenya belongs to God. We bring Kenya before God. We declare the peace of God. We declare protection of God upon our nation. In the name of Jesus, Kenya reject wickedness. Kenya reject evil people. Kenya reject the things of the devil. And we decree the purpose of God. We declare Kenya, your godly nation. Nothing will happen. No death, no violence in our nation. This morning I declare that God, Kenya belongs to you. We surrender our nation before the oh God. We decree that Kenya shall serve the purpose of God. We decree, Father, there will be peaceful election in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare, Father, our sons, our daughters, they will not be used as the weapons of Satan. We decree, Father God, you will calm every woe. You will calm every tribalism. You will calm, oh Father God, whatever out of the enemies rising against our nation, we scatter this morning. We scatter in the name of the Lord. We scatter every violence and the bloodshed. Yes, the shedding of innocent blood. This morning, we silenced in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We declare the blessings of God of our nation. We declare the power of God, the glory of God upon our nation. We declare the hand of God upon our nation. We declare God, you are rising and the devil is scattering. Let God rise. Let the devil be scattered. Let the devil be defeated. We decree all families in Kenya that are peaceful. We decree Kenya is a peaceful land. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you because the Bible says that tell the righteous, it shall be well. It shall be well. Therefore, Father, this morning, I stand to declare that it shall be well with our nation. It shall be well with 47 counties. It shall be well with the Bungoma in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with our county. I decree prosperity in Bungoma. I decree, Father God, let business rise in Bungoma. I decree, Father God, let business go forth in Bungoma. I declare, Father God, let hardship break in Bungoma. Let Bungoma experience the blessings of God. The blessings of God upon the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. Father, I bless you. Father, I give you praise. I honor you, Father. I reference your name. I give you glory. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Wow. Wow. Uh, na hope na umebarikiwa pale nyumbani uh, pale ambapo unatutazama uh, utuwezi tukatel penye huko but uh, through uh, kukuja hapa each and every time maze, uh, tumeza kukufikia na umeza kubarikiwa the whole room section uh, imekuwa blessing to us uh, to each and every people ambao umekuwa kitazama today uh, as we mark uh, to 2 years and 27 days maze, since we started the praise mix uh, God ame confess God ame confess and thank you so much Pastor Catherine for the word and the prayer I know uh, yule ambaye natazama pale nyumbani ameza kubarikiwa in one or another and uh, we just giving god uh, thanks that uh, mituwezesha is not kwa nguvu zetu hatungeweza kufika kwenye tumefika uh, when you look uh, ukiangalia ba kuna lot of things that may happen as uh, the song by sara kane uh, sara sara kane nasema that uh, hatujui nini na nini li add to what no vitu zikakuwa hivi but at the end of the day uh, sisi tunapa kushukuru Mungu kwa kila jambo na kila kitu na itakuwa salama sana au sio so thank you so much for keeping in touch with us before niachilia pastor Catherine uh, Barasa hapa hivi tukipenda tukujua pastor Catherine watu wamekuona ukihudumu uh, umeshia neno pale hivyo kuna wale wanajiuliza maswali mengi pale nje that uh, uh, pastor Catherine anashiriki ana ana hudumu wapi Amen. Ah, mm. uh, mimi Pastor Catherine nashukuru Mungu. Mimi na hudumu chini ya Pastor Alex Holy Gate of Heaven. Wow. Ah, uh, ukitaka kunipata utanipata kwa hii namba yangu. Mhm. Ah, uh, 07 12 54 0 0485. Na Ah, uh, ukitaka kunipata na pengine unataka tuombe pamoja pengine una changamoto katika maisha pengine una vidi mekusukuma kabisa na unasema ayo sita kubali in the station unataka tuongee moja kwa moja na una kitu unasema kwamba tungeshare na wewe pamoja ah uh, mimi napatikana katika 07 12 54 0 0 
12-54-04-85 Ukinipikia utanipata pale wow, Na tutakutana, wow. tutaongeza hidi sana Sana wow, wow, wow. Na shikuru mungu Wow, mm. uh, utompata, utongea, itakuwa salama sana mm. And thank you so much Pastor Catherine kwa kuja Na shukuri sana as the Praise Mix family uh, Tunasema ni asante sana uh, Tendelea kushirikiana, tuwane tupenye mungu wa natupeleka yeah. Na itakuwa vizuri sana Kirundi back, say hi to Pastor Alex, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, na jua tulikuwa na yeki, na yeki tango, but yeah. uh, tukipata time pia ata, atapata kufika hapa hivi, sindi yo? Uh, da, tutamufikisha hapa, wow. anashida. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, okay. okay, that one imekuwa the war room section on the, the first hour. Uh, tunamali, even though, even though tunamaliza, we are just diving into the second hour. It's all about stories, conversation hapo hivi yo. We get to share a lot since tulianza nini na nini ilikuwa pale hivyo so ndakuwa na amazing two ladies watakuwa in the building up hivyo just to, to have the conversation I'm talking about PRM and Joe Njoki so stand by for that blessed one inakuja like 2-3 minutes up hivyo itakuwa salama sana so Sairan kamu kwa pale hivyo back to you <laughs> 